How's it going? This is Ty with Green Regimen. So today I wanted to make a video for you about a topic that I feel is one of the most important for all of us. So make sure you share this video because I'm going to say things in this video that everyone is going to be able to, if you don't understand it, it's definitely going to affect you. And this is all about blood results. Now, I never hear anyone speaking about this. Celebrities don't talk about it who endorse products. Uh, social media influencers never talk about it. They just talk about the products that they use and how it affects them physically. But we're never told about how these products affect people internally and how our diets really affect our blood results. So just to give you a backstory for those who don't know me, um, I became 100% plant-based with my diet as of January 1st of this year, 2020. Prior to that, I I had a very somewhat of a strict diet, uh, eating regimen where I would I wouldn't eat pork. I wouldn't eat um, a lot of fatty meats, but I would definitely have ground turkey. I would eat chicken. I would eat um, no fast food, of course. I'd eat eggs. And then as of last year, uh, 2019, I was really, really strict. So I lessened the amount of eggs that I was eating, but I was really heavy on the ground turkey. And my blood results were optimal. So I had no problems with going to the doctor, getting my blood results, everything checked out, everything checked out good. Um, I'd say four years prior to that, the reason why I started to adjust my diet is because I had high cholesterol. My cholesterol was almost like at 300, it was pretty crazy. And it didn't really make any sense because I was eating pretty healthy and of course I worked out all the time, but it definitely contributed to my diet because what happened? Once I started changing my diet, reducing the amount of red meat, which happened to be my favorite of course, once I started reducing that, their cholesterol dropped. So as of January um, 1st, 2020, I decided, you know what? We have this plant-based product, Elite Protein, of course, um, and anyone can use that. You don't have to be vegan. You can eat meat. You know, that's not a problem. But the thing is, I said, you know what? I want to challenge myself for the month of January. So a lot of you participated in the challenge with me. We did a plant-based challenge. It was awesome, 100% plant-based. So after the month of January, I said to myself, you know what? Let me try it for another month. So I'm just going to continue. So now we're in February, I continue that. And then just the way my mind works, I decided, okay, you know what? I'm gonna do this for six months and then I'm gonna get my blood results done in June and let's see what happens. So for me, this video is really important because I thought six months prior, I'm gonna release this video. I'm gonna tell people how my plant-based diet treated my body, obviously physically, but also internally, which was most important to me. And at the same time, I was willing, and I was going to be honest, uh, for sure, you know, because as far as I was concerned, my blood results were fine when I was eating turkey, ground turkey and, and chicken. So there would really be no reason for me to change, right? Well, I wanted to challenge myself because I wanted to be able to speak to people about plant-based eating. And the only way I can do that is if I experience it for myself. So here you go. I got my blood results done two weeks ago. And the results came back online in my email, but I've just been so busy, thanks to all of you supporting Green Regimen, that I didn't even have time to check them out. But I was in the gym last week and I got a call from my doctor and it was a voicemail. I heard the voicemail and the nurse said, you know, we have your results, Mr. Bryant. Can you give us a call back? Because the doctor would like to speak to you today. And I was like, whoa, today? So now my mind's racing because I'm thinking, why is he calling me? And why does he need to talk? Well, I know why he's calling me, but why today? I, like, So I'm thinking, okay, there must be something wrong here. So I called back, scheduled an appointment for two hours. So now for two hours, I'm trying to work out, but I can't really concentrate. I'm trying to get my mind off because I'm thinking, oh no. Because I knew I was going to make this video today. And at the same time, I really wanted this plant-based diet to work. I really did. Um, everything that I read about plant-based diets, I mean, it's helped my mom, of course, you know, who uh, helped her. Um, uh, fight cancer with it and it's helped me along the way because my diet has been pr predominantly plant-based but it's never been a hundred percent plant-based now it's been six months so yeah my mind is spinning now right so all right two months have passed i'm sorry two uh, hours have passed i finally get on the phone with my doctor get on the phone with my doctor he sounds very serious and i'm like oh geez i mean okay you know let's like, so say hey you know mr brian i got your blood results back i'm thinking yeah i know i know just tell me what, what the situation is and he pauses for a second and then he starts laughing. And he says, you know, Mr. Bryant, your blood results are that of a healthy 18 year old and I envy you. That's what I wanted to hear. But for those last two hours, that's not what I was thinking or expecting to hear because you know, just, just all the thoughts in my mind, but I was extremely relieved 
So now I'm happy to share this video with you. I'm even more happy because now I can tell you exactly how this plant-based diet has affected my body, has affected my blood results, and it will do the same for you. I guarantee it. So let me go through um, just like the, the probably like the, the more um, the more popular or, or let's just say the more common results that you get and uh, that you'll be familiar with. So let's say, for example, iron. Last year, my iron was good. I was eating uh, turkey, chicken. My iron was good. This year, I don't even take an hour, at least for this last six months, I haven't taken an iron supplement, but my iron has increased. So that's great. So no, a plant-based diet does not decrease your iron. That's good to know, because you know there's a common misconception that it does. Let's talk about B12. Last year, uh, 2019, my B12 was at the highest um, of the range of B12, so it was great. I was eating meat. Now, plant-based sources of B12 pretty much don't really exist, so if you are um, vegan or you are plant-based, you do have to take a B12 supplement. So I started taking a B12 supplement and I really at the end of January, I started taking it. I don't really take it every day, but I could take it every day. Just sometimes I'm just busy not thinking about it. So let's say I take it at least five days a week. My B12, and I'm not gonna give you the number because you don't necessarily know, but um, pretty much like I was at the highest range of like 972 last year. Right now I'm at 1500. So people who say that supplements don't work, they're wrong. And that's another reason why I'm making this video for you because we hear so much about what people say, but it's not necessarily the, the truth or, or the case. A lot of people just read things and they just, you know, regurgitating information to you and we believe them. But it's not until someone actually takes the time to share things with you like I'm doing today, so you know. So whether you eat meat or not, a B12 supplement is, is really good. It's a great idea for you to take, especially if you don't eat meat. You definitely want to take a B12 supplement. So now my B12 is even higher than it was six months ago. It's awesome. So let's talk about sodium. Sodium is important because a lot of the, now I'm big on plant-based meats. I mean, I just like uh, like Beyond Meat. I love the stuff. I read the ingredients. I'm, I'm very happy with the ingredients. No, they don't contain GMOs. A lot of people think that, but that's just because they don't know. So they immediately associate one plant-based uh, brand with the other, uh, plant-based meat brand with, the, plant, uh, brand with the other, but they just don't know. So again, when people are giving you advice, make sure that you listen to a qualified authority. Don't necessarily, don't necessarily listen to everyone because a lot of people just talk. And I'm proving that today. A lot of people talk, but I'm, I'm, I'm actually sharing with you my results so you know. So at least you know when you come to Green Regimen, <laughs> you're getting the truth. Um, transparency is, is here for you. So. So now when it comes to sodium, yes, my, my sodium level intake in terms of the foods that I'm eating has increased because now I'm eating um, more you know, plant-based meats. So they do have a higher sodium level than the turkey that I was eating. However, according to my blood results, <laughs> my sodium level is exactly the same. My blood pressure is also fantastic. So when people talk about eating um, processed foods, yes, it is true, but everything has a process. So don't just lump all processed foods in together because there are certain foods. I mean, elite protein goes through a, a similar, it goes through a process, right? So when you hear the word process, you know, just look specifically at what people are talking about. Look specifically at the product, look at the ingredients. So there you go. Now, next, for the men out there, who think that eating a 100% plant-based diet is going to crash your testosterone or it's gonna reduce it, mine did not at all. So that's just an excuse. So no, my testosterone is fantastic. It was good last year, it's good six months from now. Actually, it's fantastic. So that's not true. So that's something else. And why is it not true? Because I got my blood results and my blood results are showing me this. Not some study that some doctor claimed that um, lower testosterone if you know the participants were eating such and such vegetables not true so I'm giving to, I'm giving you the facts here I don't know anyone else who has ever done anything like this this is why I'm doing this for you going down the line vitamin B D I'm sorry vitamin D now vitamin D is really interesting because out of all my results my vitamin D did decrease now this is what's so interesting though we've always heard that vitamin D you can get from the Sun so in this quarantine for the last three months, that's 90 days, I have been in the sun on average, two and a half hours a day. Most days I'm in the sun three hours a day because I'm working out in the park. I made it um, a necessity that every day I was going to be in the sun. 
I was just curious on if this vitamin D and sun correlation really works. Well, according to my blood results, not that much. So I'm going to be taking a vitamin D supplement. So just so you know, so people say, oh yeah, just go out and walk for a couple minutes. It's not going to be enough. Um, at least it wasn't for me. I would suggest that you do take a vitamin D supplement and you know, so there you go. I mean, prior to making this video, I thought, oh, I have all the vitamin D in the world because I'm getting it directly from the sun, but it doesn't necessarily work that way. Um, and I'm not in need of a prescription vitamin D supplement. The doctor said, no, just take any vitamin D supplement, uh, vitamin D3, so you'll be fine. So that would be one thing um, out of my blood results if there was a so-called negative, I'm just gonna be taking the vitamin D supplement, so no problem at all. Next, let's talk about something that I know you might be experiencing or your parents, definitely your grandparents are <laughs> have these issues. Let's talk about kidney, kidneys in general. Um, there's a measurement called the glomerular filtration rate, or uh, you could better <laughs> know it as uh, GFR, easier to pronounce. But what this does is this lets you know exactly the the rate or or how well your functioning your, your kidneys are functioning um, in terms of your kidneys. Are they filtering out the waste? Are they filtering out the toxins of the body? This rate is, is very important. So anytime that you go into the doctor, you definitely want to get this checked. And this is something that I remember a few years ago, the doctor checked, checked my GFR and he actually sent me to a specialist because he wanted to have an ultrasound done on my kidneys. He was just a little concerned. Everything checked out fine. This year, awesome. My, my actual rate actually increased, which is incredible. And this is what I really want you to pay attention about this. If you listen to people, people will tell you, oh, supplements, specifically protein, too much protein is going to affect your kidneys. They're going to ruin your kidneys, too much protein. So they're half right about that. But most times people don't think about what types of protein, animal protein versus plant-based protein. Last year, I had a lower GFR rate and I was intaking animal protein. The last six months, I've been intaking only plant-based protein and my kidney function has improved. So now I have even more confidence because see, if you don't get these results done, when, when you hear people uh, say things like this, you can't really respond. You can only go back to a Google article or, or some study that you've read but see, I decided I was going to perform this on myself so I could share it with you. This is why you need to share these videos with people because everyone is experiencing this. Um, another test that I had has to do with creatinine. Now creatinine, like that number there, um, actually lets you know how well your kidneys are functioning as well. Now, a lot of people, if they have a lot of muscle on their bodies, then they'll have a higher creatinine level. And I've always had a higher creatinine level just based on my musculature. This past six months, my creatinine. Now, the higher your creatinine level, for the most part, that means the worse your kidneys are functioning. That's just usually a correlation. So I've always had a high creatinine level, but I also had high muscle um, as well. This year, or this last six months, <laughs> I still have a high muscle rate, but my creatinine level has decreased. Why is that? Again, plant-based protein. But again, I'm sorry, plant-based um, plant foods in general. But again, this video is definitely not to get you to stop eating meat. Because remember, six months ago, I still had great, and I used to call optimal blood results. However, now they're even better. And I didn't think that I would, I, I didn't think that was possible. To be honest with you, I really did not. I thought I had the best diet. People who know me, I would always talk about that. I have the best diet and that's that. But there happens to be a better diet out there. Um, and that's just kind of what it is. So um, so then let's see, lastly, a, a blood test that all of you know about, you've heard about it and so confused about it is cholesterol. And very important, but you know, we hear, oh, eggs um, are high in cholesterol, so they contribute to cholesterol. Then, you know, on Tuesday, we'll hear one thing. On Wednesday, we'll hear a totally different opinion about it. So let me tell you about cholesterol, because see, cholesterol is the reason why I started to really look closely at my blood results. So as I shared with you at the beginning, my cholesterol was really high, close to 300. Um, and I was not that old, I was probably like 25 at that point. And you know, when you're 25, you're not thinking about any of this. But I started thinking about it because it seemed to be an issue. Now, wow, 
my cholesterol, my total cholesterol as of January or before January rather last year, it was 193. Now that is good because that's that's below the 200 mark, but I was eating chicken, I was eating turkey, and I would eat eggs every now. I'd, I'd probably eat eggs four times a week. Now, six months later, my cholesterol, total cholesterol is 154. So the articles that say that cholesterol, uh, the, the cholesterol in eggs doesn't affect you, you know, nonsense. At least for me, at least for me. I'm, I know that there's exceptions to every rule so i already know that but for the for the majority i'm no special than anyone else watching this video so for sure if you have cholesterol issues if you take statins it's because you want to it, it really is it's because you want to because i'm clearly showing you that you don't have to you can change your diet and you don't have to take prescription medication you don't have to yes my family has <laughs> Um, has issues as well in terms of her hereditary. Let's say diabetes, of course, high cholesterol, kidney issues. Yes, my family has it as well. So I hear that information and then I decided, but that doesn't have to be my future, right? So if I can just change my diet, which I did. So I just want the same for you as well. So we all have these familiar issues. We, we have them, you know, we hereditary, this and that. It's, it's a fact, it's what it is, it's okay because that doesn't have to be our destiny. So you know that, I've proven it, there you go. So, I know it's a little bit longer video than I wanted to make, but it's gonna, I'll break it up in two videos, but I just wanna share this information with you because no one is talking about this. This is so important. Everyone wants to talk about having a six pack. That's great. You can look like a million dollars on the outside and inside be worth $25. That's a fact, <laughs> for sure it's a fact. So that's why I want to share this information with you. Share this video with everyone, mom, dad, aunts, uncles, grandmother, grandfather, everyone, because it's so important. And I know since it's such, a, since it's such a, like a, a vast amount of topics in the video, I'll make other videos about you know different aspects um, of this eating as well. But just want to give you that, just to consider, get your blood results done, extremely important, all right? Follow us at Green Regimen, check us out. Of course, we have plant-based products at greenregimen.com. We'll see you soon.